What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the strongman gym in Miami, where strength is everything. I'm awake. I took a nap. I'm up. I look handsome with my haircut. We trimmed the beard a little bit, but keeping it nice. Uh, still growing it out. Don't doubt my skills. I was going to get the whole thing. Um, saw a video today. Um, actually, mm, I've been eating these, uh, these Planters Limited Edition nuts. They're delicious. Merry Christmas, man. Um, really been talking about the squat lady. I am going to be competing in a powerlifting meet in January, so I have been raw squatting more, uh, maybe twice a month now instead of just once every other month or once a month. Uh, I have been going through some knee pains, and it kind of sucks, and I'm kind of working on that, but I digress. Uh, the whole conversation here and the whole thing I, I wanted to bring up was some techniques to fix the squat. Now there is a billion videos about this and I suggest to watch Elliot Hulse talk about the squat, Mark Bell talk about the squat, and Brandon Lilly and Dan Green. Those motherfuckers are really big right now and they lift and squat very fucking heavy. They're all over the juggernaut um, training system, JTS. Chad Wesley Smith as well. Um, and of course, you never, you can never miss with bar, uh, West Side. Just a couple things. A lot of those guys are raw squatters, but it's just different techniques to improve the squat. And uh, let's get started with these things. I was watching a video uh, of a friend of mine do some squats. I actually have watched about five videos. Even had some videos sent to me. Um, and some of the, the most common things I see, I'm just going to give you three things to fix a squat because there's a thousand things you can do to fix a squat. Uh, for that, you need coaching. I don't know, maybe uh, a gym that's primarily about strength and uh, being a Viking. I can't think of anything. I feel like there's a gym that starts with the letter B and rhymes with Adelax, but I don't, I don't know. I could be just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I get crazy. So one thing I really would like you guys to do if you're developing the squat, loosen up the pecs. Mark Bell just made a video about this actually yesterday or today. Um, and I couldn't agree more because he had mentioned this about uh, this technique a long time ago. When you have a tight pec, tight shoulder area, you can barely get behind the bar. So a lot of these us, well, I don't want to say us bigger guys because I'm not as big as I used to be, but when you have mobility issues, it's hard for you to get under that barbell or get around. And what happens is that as you come up and you have tight pecs, you're going to force the bar over. It's going to roll you over. And when you have that difficulty rolling over, that's when things get difficult. I mean, you can, well, you don't understand. When you get behind the bar and pinch, it's very simple for you guys to roll over on the way on the way up because your pecs are tighter and probably stronger than your back. Which brings me to number two. Build your back muscles up. Please, please, please do isolation work. Anyone who tells you that isolation work is bad for you is fucking stupid. And they can come at me. I swear to God they can come at me. You need isolation work. Do you need isolation work that the bodybuilder does? No, because you're not going for maximum hypertrophy. You're not going for aesthetics. You're going for muscle development and strength. There's a big way. It's called accessory work. Powerlifters do it every day. No one can argue with strongmen and powerlifters in the world of strength. Work isolation work. Rows, lat pulls, any kind of reverse flies, dumbbell work, face pulls with the band. Those kinds of stuff are huge. Low back stuff. Reverse hyper, good mornings. Please, please, please work this stuff. That's that's essential. The stronger your back is, the more likely it is that you are not bow over on the squat. You will actually stay tight and go from there. Number three, drive the chest into the bar. So the first thing that happens, I wish I had a, something to show you. When you're with the bar and you're coming back up, a lot of guys will say, oh, well, look up now. I don't agree with that because as I like to do is I like to keep my neutral spine and drive my chin kind of in and up in a sense. That drives my chest up. Looking up is kind of the old school method of if you look up, your body will go up. But I never like this method as I feel like the barbell and me are going to go backwards. Can your eyes look up as you go up? Absolutely. Your eyes can look up all they want. But I don't like to lose the, lose the head positioning. That's just me. Whatever. I grab the barbell and I drive my chest into the barbell as hard as I can like I'm going to break that barbell on my back. 
I was taught this by several people, but perfected. And I always give credit to my squat, to Donnie Thompson, Super D himself. Uh, I was fortunate enough to hang out with Donnie, and he taught me a lot about the primary lifts. So if you think I'm wrong and you think Donnie's wrong, you don't know how to squat. So drive that chest up. The first thing you should think when you're coming out of the hole is to drive the chest up. And I promise you, your hips and knees and the rest of your body will react accordingly and you'll go up. Now, when you're going for a run with Max, are shit six going to get ugly? Yeah, you might bow over, you might look ugly, you might, put, you might shit your pants. No one really cares unless you get that rep. I get it. But when you're training sub-maximal weight, you got to train to perfection so that your one rep max, whether it's ugly or not, the chances or the likelihood of injury are nothing, really low, because you've strengthened your body so, so strong, so, so well. So three things you want to do. Again, let's repeat this. Isolation work on the back, loosening up the pecs, and driving your chest into the bar in different orders. So really work mobility, lacrosse ball on the chest, some band work. Uh, Mark Bell recommended some uh, some dumbbell flies. That'll be like right before you lift, just to stretch out the chest. Um, get the chest loose, shoulders loose. Get the lacrosse ball against the wall or the side of a rack. Get some, some band work in there. Build up your back on accessory work, make it strong, and drive the chest up and into the bar on the way up. And I promise you, these things will make you a big squatter or a better squatter. So dropping that Viking science on you again. Thanks for tuning in and cheers.